When you talk about some of the work that you are doing, you build and manage a fleet of more than 200, just around 200 satellites that are capturing uh, images here on Earth, daily global uh, change on Earth. When you talk about, there's been so much hype around surrounding AI, how it is disrupting, how it's revolutionizing across your industry. How are, how do you see the advancements in AI impacting what you do? Yeah, absolutely. Well, a huge amount. Yeah. So, so uh, AI is all about the data. Mm -hmm. uh, algorithms on, on their own are not worth anything. It, it's all about what data you train them on uh, as to how useful they are to you. If you train them on the text of the internet, you can answer questions that you can find on the internet. We've got this corpus of imagery, uh, 2,500 images for every point on the Earth's landmass on average. So mm -hmm. to train our algorithms so that you can do things like find any object around the Earth across the, and backwards through time. Let me give you a very specific example, though, to make it concrete. Um, we work with the government of Brazil uh, to track deforestation. Now, we produce millions of images all the time of, of Brazil. No one could look at all those images by hand and check if the difference between today and yesterday if there's deforestation. So we have an automatic algorithm that's trained using machine learning that looks at all of the Brazilian Amazon and finds any new roads. If it finds a road, it's an early sign of people doing deforestation. We then send them alerts every day of all the locations across the entire Brazilian Amazon for deforestation events. Last year alone, they did 3,000 interventions to go and arrest people or take equipment. They, they confiscated over $2 billion worth of equipment. And most importantly, they reduced deforestation rates by 55% in Brazil, leveraging our data. So if you have a cooperative government and this sort of data set, you can have real impact on the world. Um, so it's, it's good business and it's good for the planet. So talk to us about the interconnectedness then of AI helping your business and also the impact on our climate and our planet. Like to what extent does the addition of AI help you in that effort? Well, it's critical because, I mean, we use AI up and down the stack. Uh, but just to think about this, in the next few years, every company on the planet and every country on the planet is going to have to balance its carbon books. It's going to have to balance, just like at the end of the year, you have to balance your uh, financials, you have to balance your carbon books because we're going to need to, we have to be a sustainable uh, planet. We have to move to a sustainable economy. Well, the first step is how do you measure that stuff? And AI helps us measure that stuff, like the deforestation example and many others. And real quick, uh, well, I, I want to get to two things with you. One, you announced earlier today a uh, new and ex expanded uh, contract with PG&E, just in terms of the utility giant, what they're using your data set for. What exactly is that? Do you expect more of those types of contracts to come about here in the coming years? And then when you talk about some announcement that you have on deck for tomorrow, you're launching a new platform. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, uh, well, it's very exciting. Well, with PG&E, it's, it's an expanded partnership. We, we monitor millions of miles of their, yeah. their uh, power lines and for vegetative encroachment. So instead of having to send helicopters along their lines, we can tell them well in advance just using our satellite data. And again, that uses algorithms to detect those tree encroachments, and then they only know, need to send people out where they need to, rather than searching these long mile, miles of lines. And that can stop wildfires. It can also help ensure you know, electrical uh, conductivity to the homes that they are serving. Um, and yes, tomorrow we're, we're, we're launching a, a, a milestone launch of our platform. It's very exciting. It's a culmination of a lot of the, we did an acquisition last year. It's a culmination of the platforms coming together. Um, I won't spoil all the details, but uh, what I would say is that the goal is to help an ecosystem of partners to build on top of our data. We have all the data in there, but also some tools that enable them to build, because customers want, don't want just data, they want solutions. Mm -hmm. And, but there are millions of different applications, you know, vast array of applications that are untapped with this new data set, um, all these images of the Earth. And we can't possibly, as planet, solve all of those challenges or help all those applications and serve them all ourselves. So we're trying to enable an ecosystem, just like an app, the App Store on, on Apple, to enable people to build their own solutions on top of our, our data. Really exciting. Thank you so much for joining us and coming in studio. We really appreciate it. Will Marshall, CEO of Planet Labs, thank you so Thanks much, very much for joining us.